In today's video, we'll talk about the top 5 best Linux laptops. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. There is a difference between buying a laptop for Linux compared to buying a laptop for Windows or MacBook. Windows Mac operating system and Linux are totally different in terms of the features they offer and the hardware requirements they need. And as there are many Linux distributions, some require very minimum while others require more resources. I have sorted 5 equally good laptops for all the Linux distributions based on their prices. So let's see what do we have. Dell XPS 13 Developers Edition This laptop is from Dell and it comes with 11th generation Intel Core i3, i5 and i7 processor with 6, 8 and 12 MB of cache and it has 13.4 inch FHD display with Intel Iris Xe graphics and touchscreen. It supports the LPDDR4 8GB of RAM and you can upgrade it up to 32GB of RAM. You also have the option to go with the 16GB. In terms of its storage, it supports the M2 NVMe solid state drive with 256 to 1 terabyte of storage and it has 4 cell 52 watts or battery that is integrated in the system. Now at the end if we talk about its price range, it ranges from $820 to $2170 and it all depends on your choice that with which hardware resources you want to go. Lemur Pro This laptop is from System76 and comes with Pop OS as pre-installed. It comes with 11th generation Intel Core i5 and i7 processor and has a 14.1 inch FHD display with Intel Iris Xe graphics. It supports the DDR4 3200 MHz RAM and it can also be upgraded up to 40 GB of RAM. And in terms of storage, it supports the two slot of M2 SSD and for one slot you can have one PCIe Generation 4 and for the other slot you can have one PCIe Generation 3 or SATA and you can have up to 4 terabytes of total space. It has a Leon 73 watts or battery and is USB Type-C charging compatible. Depending upon the hardware configuration, its price ranges from $1299 to $3085. KDE Slimbook 14 As the name suggests, it comes with the KDE Neon as pre-installed operating system. This laptop comes with the AMD Ryzen 4800 with display of IPS LED cover, 100 sRGB 14 inch display. For memory, it offers 3200 MHz of 8 GB of RAM and goes up to 64 GB. And if we talk about the storage, it offers the range from 250 GB to 2 TB SSD and VME. You can also have the Samsung base storage with 250 to 2 terabyte range. For the battery, it gets shipped with 47 watts or battery and its price ranges from 1360 to 2520 dollars depending on your choice of the hardware components. Purism Librem This laptop comes with the Pure OS and it is an enhanced private, secure and stable Linux distribution with FSF endorsement. This laptop is from Purism as the name suggests. It comes with the 10th generation Core i7 with 6 cores and 12 threads and has 14 inch of FHD display, 2 slots of SODIMM and memory ranges starts from DDR4 8GB and goes up to DDR4 64GB. In terms of storage, it supports two SATA plus NVMe capable 80mm M2 slots and it has the range from 256GB to 2TB and it also includes the Intel UHD graphics 620 and it offers up to 9 hours of battery timing depending upon the hardware configuration 
its price ranges from $15.99 to $30.70. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Generation 8, Generation 9. This laptop is from Lenovo and comes with the option of having Fedora 33 as pre-installed. It comes with the 11th generation Intel Core i7 processor and possesses 4 cores and 8 threads. For cache, it offers 12 MB. For the display, we have different choices, like you can have the 14 inch 1920 by 1080 3840 by 2400 touch screen display. For memory, it offers up to 32GB of LPDDR4 RAM. And for storage, it offers up to 1TB of PCIe SSD. And for the graphics, it includes the integrated Intel Iris X graphics. And for battery, it has the 57W or internal battery with 65W AC charger. Its price ranges from the $3200 to $5200 depending on the hardware components you want. And these were all 5 laptops that you can consider for Linux. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video.